Hey guys, it's Cross again from CMAPS and today I wanted to show you a little tutorial uh, about a camera and um, just wanted to show you the relationship between the shutter speed and the aperture on your camera. So I have got a lens with f1.8 and 50, milli 50 millimeters on this. So I wanted to go uh, from f1.8 to I think f22 and show you how you have to set the uh, shutter speed to get the same uh, picture just with a different uh, blur in the background. So I'm now on f1.8 and because it's really shiny I'm at 1 2500 of a second. So I'm just going to take a picture. And as you can see the black back background is really blurred out. And the point is if you now go to f2.0 you have to go down one step on the shutter speed. To, so to 1 2000th of a second. So that would get about the same light in the picture. But because it's uh, 2. f2.0, the background is getting a bit less blurry. And we're just going to go up, let's say, to f3.2. So I think I just got uh, four steps up. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 4. I'm going to see. And as you can see, you can now kind of uh, see the background. and. And it's, yeah, you can slowly, slowly see the uh, flowers in the background, and uh, yeah, the brightness is kind of the same. So I got the same. So if you go three steps up, up with the aperture, you have to go three steps down with the shutter speed. So now we're gonna go to f five five point five point zero. Oh, that's wait one two three four, and one two three four down. So at f 5.0 it's still blurry but you can see it's gets it's getting better and I really wanted to know this um, when I started with the camera so I'm gonna go to f8 one, two, three, four, and take the picture and now the background could be okay if you would see you can really recognize the background right now so I think after f Okay, sorry for the cut, my dog was in the way. So at F13, uh, we're now at, uh, I think, 1 50th of a second. And if I now take the picture, yeah, it should have been right. And the background is almost not blurry anymore. And now let's go to the final step. It's gonna be four, four, five, I think five. It's gonna be F22. That's the highest I can go, or the lowest, whatever. And I'm gonna go one. I think one fifteenth of a second, that should be it. And if you now look at it, the, you still have this image in the foreground, so this uh, wood piece, and the background is almost not blurry anymore, so you really need one fifteenth of a second to have this picture uh, lightened up enough. But the background is completely okay, so if someone someone's is in the background, you're gonna recognize them and it's gonna be clear. So I just wanted to make this uh, kind of easy to, sh to show and with m and many pictures so that you can see what difference the aperture and the shutter speed make and well if you have any questions just comment in the just leave me a comment and well thanks for watching and see you next time